Good morning. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Well, right off the bat, I got a confession to make. We started harvesting corn and I didn't bring you with me. I'm sorry. But in my defense, doing this right now is really hard when you're going, why won't it work? I got all the startup pains out of the way and uh, we're rolling. Heads unhooked, combine's ready to hit the road, and we are heading over to our Fiorini farm, which would be where my homestead is. It's about 26 acres. I think we were like 57 test weight to 58.9 was our highest, and around 17% moisture, 220 bushel average. Pretty good. So this year we planted a seedway variety 9035 SSRIB. It's an earlier variety, gets the corn off earlier while the ground's in good shape, keeps the moisture down. Issues that we had in the past was Pioneer and DeKalb corn was just too vigorous. Corn quality was off because it was standing up and too green too late. Birds would get after it, it was just high moisture high yield but what you gained in yield you lost in drying costs. So far the decision to go with a early day corn variety is paying off. Bucci and Dave's stomping grounds. Two seventy three, two seventy five, two eighty six, two ninety. I mean I'm not lying. This farm has its soft spots, so we're definitely trying to get the farms done. They're the most vulnerable to wet weather. I've been waiting! When you're averaging 254 bushel to the acre, and on soft ground, you can't load up the grain cart, you're waiting for the grain cart. The headlands were around 220-ish. The center gets up to like 290. And it's a lot of bushels. Waiting for trucks. That helps control the head height. Right now I've been running manual. Got a new sensor in today. And I don't know where Pop left it. Sensor's out, right here. That goes right there. Reads the position of this. The moment of truth, let's see if the new sensor fixes what we were missing. <laughs> 4.9, means it's out of range. Son of a bitch. That didn't work. I was excited to have auto height. Oh man. Mouse. Mice chewed the wire through. Let's see if it works now. 4.1, 3.7, 4 4.2. Good. The kid in defense of my habitat. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite part about work here? Common. What qualities are essential for success? God, what does that mean? What would a typical day look like? Uh, just around here. Around Don't where? Stop. Around the farm area in the New York. New York. What are the next steps? Um, like I go up the stairs in the farm a lot, so yeah. I got all these answers from Pinterest. <laughs> Guys. Well, field one is done. That was 21 acres ish, and we're on to field two. That's about three and a half acres. And we got 1.3 of that done. 
Bubba Ranch is complete. Let's take a look at the grain. That is such a clean sample. Oh my God. I'm in love with this harvester. All right, that's it for tonight. We're gonna get the uh, equipment moved over the home farm. Crank up tomorrow morning, see you then. Good morning, about quarter to 10. Wind's been blowing, no dew. We're gonna start mowing some corn. So you can see the leaves uh, of the plant are all chopped up looking. This farm was hit with a hailstorm uh, pretty late in the season. The crop was already made, so it did not affect it as much. It is affecting how I combine a little bit because there is more plant matter. It's finer getting in the tank, but still a pretty good clean grain sample. As far as yield goes, I don't know. My yield monitor broken and not uh, gonna get fixed till hopefully tomorrow. 1.05 p.m. Field 17 is complete. Going over to field 16 now. I'm gonna get that mowed down. Oh boy, this has been one wet field. Not good, not good at all. Yield wasn't great. There are spots the planter had to go around that are still wet. This farm, this spring, all the way through the growing season was tough. Really tough. Glad I didn't have the whole thing planted <laughs> in onions. Well, that's it for this field. On to the last one for this farm. Morning. Well, we uh, worked late last night, got meanos done, and we're here at the arch farm. We've got five acres here to harvest. Not really much to write home about, but uh, still got to do it. So we're going to do it like this. To that. All right, on to route three. Route three farm, here we go. Bushels look good, still can't tell because Case has yet to deliver their part to me. So hopefully that happens tomorrow morning. If I were a guessing man, this is all of 50 to 280. Combine is knock on wood. Combine's combining. So this is our last big muck farm that we have left. Uh, we have another seven acres on another farm and then the rest of it is on the mineral soil. This farm has been onions for about three years. So it's taken a break this year with corn. This is a really, really good farm, but we could tell last year that it was time. I knew it. I knew it. I was saying it. Shouldn't have said it. How good everything was going. Overheating. That screen right there. Can't suck air when it's full of crap. I need to keep his job. The Super Dodge with the Super Mexican is here. That's running a little bit better. The dust is just sticky, sticky, sticky. Sticky, icky, icky, like Snoop would say. Well, that didn't last long. Oh, it's my 
honey's birthday. Happy birthday, honey. I love you. I'm wrapping it up. Pop's gonna run the combine. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. We got Kevin here. He's gonna go do some tillage with the Emots on Corn Stover. Got a dew on this morning. We got onions going in the bag. And there are fancy onions. It's not perfect, but it's a learning experience. We did get some movement on them, so that's good. But overall, first time out, not super disappointed. We're back in action. We're monitorizing our yield. Jim from Monroe Tractor was just here. Put in the new parts, looked at a bunch of other stuff, and said, hey, give me a call. I said, okay. Thank you. Route 3 Farm is done. Getting the head unhooked right now from the combine. Gonna head down the road to the last planted muck corn we got. If you're wondering why we need to bring Mexicans in the country, because there isn't a white boy right there doing that. That's why. Well, that's it right there. All the corn on the muck has been officially combined. Look out, America! We're coming down the road! You're gonna hit your mailboxes and keep going! Well, that's it for the night. We are down to our last mm, 102.65 acres. Corn yields are really coming off good. Uh, this corn crop is really gonna save our butts this year. Cash flow in our business. We haven't been selling many onions, so grain is quick, fast money. Take this corn and soybeans, turn it into cash, and pay some bills with it this week. It's been a good week. Thank you for watching. See you next week.